Welcome back. I'm Eric Sapanik. This is Damian White. This is the Gold Spot. Well, we had a uh, email come in recently. Uh, Dale from Prescott was asking us a little bit more about the technical side of why we see the predictions that we see on a technical level. So with that being said, Damien here, he has a lot more exposure uh, than the rest of us when it came to working on Wall Street, things of that nature. And one of the types of analytics that he's going to talk to you about today is going to be something called cup and handle. Damien, if you could explain to them what that is and why that's important. The cup and handle is a technical pattern that relates to most financial assets. And really what it does, um, if you look at technical analysis in essence, what it really is is a, a, a preview of looking back on where prices have been and making a prediction of where prices are going to go. Um, so if you take it down to its, its um, basic form, really, um, an asset can only do three things. It can go up, it can go down, and it can go sideways. It's a battle between buy and sellers. Um, so when buyers overcome sellers, prices go up. When sellers overcome buyers, prices go down. And when it's a stalemate, prices will trade um, sideways or flatline in essence. So when you're looking at the chart that we're going to put up, um, it relates to the gold, um, gold chart pattern, the price of gold over the last approximately 15 years. And you can see that on the left side of the chart where gold is moving up from, let's say, $800 um, in the 08, 09 area of time. And it goes up into approximately $1,900, I think $1,916, maybe around 2011. In that two-year period of time, buyers were obviously overtaking sellers. Prices rose. Um, and at that point, pretty much all the buyers that were going to buy gold at those prices had their allocations filled and the, and the prices were no longer able to go up. Um, so as prices then started to come down where sellers were overtaking buyers for the next handful of years, prices bottomed out. And at that point was the stalemate that I was talking about where prices kind of trade sideways for three or four years and it became a floor of pricing. That's the, the bottom part of the cup. So then buyers started coming back into the market around the summer of 2019, where you can see where the price of gold kind of goes up around $1,350, $1,400 and starts making new highs and starts making um, another leg up to the upside. Um, that then forms ultimately the cup, where you can see that after the, uh, the pandemic recession and then all of the the Federal Reserve monetary stimulus pushed prices back all the way up into the 2000 range. So it's, it's retesting the highs that it had approached in 2011. Um, that found um, traditional resistance right there because those buyers and sellers had exhausted at that time. Well, that forms the cup. So this is a pattern that is a very common pattern on Wall Street. And it's predicted usually to be one of the most bullish patterns that um, an asset can form when it's battling between this, this buy and sell pressure. So as you look at the, the right side of the chart, um, prices have had trouble getting above the $2,000 price range. There's a couple incidences on this chart where you can see spikes. There's a spike there that shows the, the, um, the invasion into Ukraine. That was a big fear factor that came into the markets. Gold shot up at that time and then it pulled back. And if you look closely on the right side of the chart, we're starting to form a little handle or a, a base between say 2000 and around $1,700 where price is bouncing around. Um, in there, you can see the year of 2022 when the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates, putting pressure on the price of gold and is going down. Um, and now we're back up to those highs. So if you look at the chart pattern, really, it looks like a cup with a handle or the handle would be on the right side of the chart where you're, you would be holding it. Well, so this is basically a, a, a stalemate of bouncing around in this price right now and it's building pressure. Okay, so we can make forecasts based on other assets, on other chart patterns. This is a really long cup and handle pattern. It's taken off 15 years for this to transpire. So ultimately the pressure that's being building is gonna to relate to an explosion of price to the upside. 
The trigger for that could be a lot of things. It could be world war. It could be the Federal Reserve lowering interest rates in, during the course of 2024. The, 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 the gist of the pattern though is that buyers and sellers are battling. They've been battling for 15 years. Pressure is building and price is not going down. When price does not go down, it's telling you one thing, wants to go up. And so that was going to happen at some point in the future um, when gold is a slower moving asset. So we're going to, we've been seeing this transpire for quite a while now. These patterns can be very explosive and they, they traditionally will follow the similar move of what they did before. If you go back again to the left side of the chart, you're looking at a price that went from eight or nine hundred up to about nineteen hundred dollars. Call it a thousand dollar move. I personally will look at it and say we probably have about a thousand dollar move in our future, which is about 50 percent move from where we are right now in the, in the 2000 ballpark range. Um, I would expect this pattern to resolve in the next co course of this year. We're going to start breaking out shortly and then how long it takes to get to twenty five hundred or three thousand. I think it'd be a pretty quick move. You know, it could be in, in 2024 by the end of the year. 2,500, 2,700, 2,800. I would think by the end of 2025, we're at 3,000. That would be my, um, my technical analysis. Well, that sounds like something that we're going to find out real soon here. The other thing that we want you to do is go ahead, click below. You can see our forecast, our 2024 uh, forecast. If you haven't already looked at that, real good place. It's, it's, uh, it goes through all the different experts out there that are making these predictions like like Damien was just quoting so something that you might want to take a look at we appreciate you coming back to the gold spot we look forward to talking next week Damien thank you for all all the technical side of it we hope it made sense and if you have other questions about it call in text in email us and we'd be more than happy to chat about it with you or we can also you know if you have some things that you want us to talk more about we'd be happy to do that as well have a great weekend. See you next week. If you enjoyed today's Gold Spot, like or subscribe to both our YouTube or our Rumble channels. Also, comment below if you have any questions or if you want to hear us talk about something specific in a future video.